Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Aviation for GK. In this video, we will be discussing what does it mean by ETOPS. Its approval and maintenance requirements. So, before I start with this video, if you are new to my channel, I would like to request you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon, so that you won't miss any of my future videos. First, let us see, what does ETOPS stand for? ETOPS is an aviation acronym for, Extended Range Twin Engine Operation. According to ICAO, this is also known as, Extended Diversion Time Operation EDTO. All airline companies which support twin-engine aircraft, operating over long distances must have an Extended Range Twin Engine Operations Policy or Procedure and Approval. Twin engine aircraft are not normally allowed to operate more than 60 minutes single engine flying time from a suitable alternate airfield. However, this rule can be alleviated for operators who can demonstrate adequate reliability. A suitably approved aircraft can operate routes taking it up to 207 minutes single engine flying time with 240 minutes allowed in some cases from an airfield making both transatlantic and transpacific flights viable. Now, let's go through ETOPS approval. The aircraft manufacturer will normally apply for ETOPS approval during the type certification process for new aircraft types, but existing ones will require modification. Even when ETOPS approved the aircraft may not be operated in this way unless the operator is also approved. The airline is normally granted ETOPS in increments of 75 minutes, 120 minutes, 180 minutes and 207 minutes. These maximum diversion times are to a suitable alternate airfield at the one engine cruise speed, provided during standard conditions, in still air conditions. An airline seeking ETOPS approval must first show that it is capable of operating safely for one year under the 75-minute ETOPS rule. After 12 months of 75-minute ETOPS, 120-minute ETOPS may be granted if the airframe engine combination has performed safely, for example, maximum IFSD in-flight shutdown rate of 0.05 shutdowns per 1,000 hours. For the further ETOPS operation rate approval, continuous improvement in in-flight shutdown rate is demanded by the authorities. Special considerations must be followed in order to operate an aircraft along a route with enough options and fuel to safely complete the flight as dispatched or make a diversion in the case of engine failure. MEL minimum equipment lists for ETOPS certified aircraft must be developed which assure that the aircraft has adequate redundancy to continually perform on extended range routes. These backup systems should include electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic, flight instruments, fuel, flight control, ice protection, engine start and ignition, propulsion system instruments, navigation, communications, and auxiliary power units. Minimum equipment list or MEL is another topic, which will be explained in detail in another video. Now let's see the maintenance requirements for ETOPS rated aircrits. The operator's ETOPS manual will contain details of the maintenance procedures employed to support the approval. This will include activities described below. Data collection and analysis for engine, airframe and system defects, component failure rates and trends. This will be used to monitor the reliability of the aircraft. Any significant events or occurrences are reported to the CAA Civil Aviation Authority. After certain maintenance procedures, the aircraft must undergo an ETOPS verification flight to ensure compliance with the regulations. Some operators have found that maintaining all their aircraft to ETOPS standards increases the dispatch reliability considerably. So, that's all for today's topic, if you think this information helped you, then please like, comment and share with others. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel.
If you have any queries, you can comment or reach me out on aviation4gk at gmail.com. Thank you again and see you in the next video.